Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Country. 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number that's staggering. It's a number we're going to bring up every day. Vets, you have a place here. You fought for us. The only thing I can do for you is raise awareness, and that's what we're going to do. We back the blue here. How do you do that, scab? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. It will take hold. Well, today's video, we've got the Hudson Bay Tomahawk from Cold Steel. Now, it is a Cold Steel Tomahawk. It's friction fit. It's got the stupid pin in the side. And let me just say this. I am a Cold Steel guy. Some of you guys get just get butt hurt and worked up if anybody ever says anything negative about Cold Steel. Well, get over it because I hate that stupid pen. I love Cold Steel, and God's honest truth, I probably own more of it than you do, okay? But I can have an opinion. I hate the set screw. It's stupid, and it there you go. I, I don't mind the friction fit, so you can use it in bushcraft, and I know what the hell it's for, but that, that, that screw is a pain in the butt. Now, moving past that... I, enjoy, I like the axe head on this thing. I wanted to bring up the tomahawk handle because it's just the normal hickory handle, okay? It's not thicker. It's not bigger. It's a cold steel tomahawk. Now, it came super sharp. Uh, this is this is straight out of the box, guys. This is I used the Smith knife, unboxed it, and uh, brought it out, and here we are now. Here, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Probably going harkening back to my early pioneer days, I guess. Um... Not a bad bite right there. Now, I didn't swing it hard as I can, no, because I don't swing tomahawks every day. I'm getting practice and I'm doing all that, but I'm not cutting my leg off to make a point. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you are with me. Now, let me say this. <clears throat> See, right there, old scab in true scab form, about stabbed myself to death yesterday with the Akuchi, about killed myself with the, with, the, with the cold steel. Now, let me just show you some chopping here, a little bit of wood processing. This is an old piece of... Uh, I believe it's cherry. It's hard as a damn rock. Now you can believe that. It, 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 it's, it's just brick bat hard, son. But let me say this. Cold steel tomahawks do come pretty sharp out of the box. They really do. I haven't done a thing with this one. Um, I am going to touch it up a little bit. I, I think you should do that just any knife you get, whether it's a quick strop or you know, run it. I got that Lansky puck that I use for a lot of the tomahawks and it'll it'll get it super sharp and I do enjoy cold steel hawks now we did a CRKT hawk the other day and if I had to go just head to head you know I'd put that CRKT up against maybe a cold steel rifleman's hawk and if you'll go to my Instagram at Squire Boys Cutler same thing one word with a Z um, I'll do some I've got a ton of cold steel tomahawks just sitting here looking i got the norse i got the battle axe i got the viking axe i got the other one the pioneer the frontier um all that crap the rifleman got two riflemen so i'll be able to give you some good comparisons with them oh scab chopping it there hey right here guys this one's gonna be a little tough but i want to get this shout out in uh it's not to another channel it's to a 10 year old little boy who gave his life <clears throat> saving his sister it's about the third time I've tried to do it. I just got to suck it up. That kid saved his sister's life. You, Benjamin Luckett, son, God rest you. God rest your soul. You're, be you're the best of us. He's my shout out. If you don't know the story, Benjamin and, and his sister Abigail and his brother were playing near a frozen pond. And as you can guess, his sister fell in. He sent his brother for help. And with no regard for his own life, he jumped in. His dad came and was able to get Abigail out, and I think she's doing better. They moved her to a regular room. Uh, Benjamin didn't make it. The fireman, from what I read, and this was earlier today, it may have changed, but the fireman said it, it would appear that he drowned holding his sister's head above water. That's incredible. So, son, may the Lord keep you, and may we learn from you. You're our shout-out today, Benjamin Luckett. And if you show up to Valhalla, son, just kick the doors in, because I promise you, you got more than enough heart and more than enough courage to get in. Back to the video. I wanted to show you a couple different things uh, with 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 the cold steel hawk. There I am looking looking uh, dapper as ever. And somebody told me in one of my videos a little while ago that I was too fat to throw them. Uh, that was a you know, video I made four or five months ago. I've leaned way up since then. You know, lost five, ten pounds. Plus, that was the dumbest-ass statement I ever heard. But, you know, 
I, the guy really didn't mean nothing by it. That, that's what everybody keeps saying, but, you know, maybe I am. Uh, if he'd like to come out here and run down the road, I'd be glad to throw him at him, see if, he, see if his theory's correct. Now, right here, and yes, y'all know I'm petty. I told you I'm petty. Scab petty, balling. There it is. Now, right here, we're doing some good double sticks, and really, y'all see some uh, chips flying. Now, I never intended to cut this tree in half. It was already knocked down. Um, I do have to start uh, working more on permission. I have permission to be in this certain area, and they are clear-cutting it for houses. So, um, as that goes now, I'll, I'll have to get a little more per permission and find some job sites and things. But this one should last us for a good while. I've got another one I got permission of up on the river, so we'll just keep blasting away. Now, really what I'm doing here, if y'all want to know the God's honest truth, I was just trying to stick the damn thing for the last minute. There I am looking dapper. All right, now right here, this, this tree's dried out now. You'll notice uh, old scab sweating there. I know the rest of y'all are freezing to damn death, and I'm sorry about that. But here in Florida, it was like 85 degrees. And I walked up to the treasure chest, which uh, round trip was 3.4 miles. So I'm going to start doing that most days. Uh, i got to get off about 35, 40, 50 pounds. I, honestly, I could lose 100 and it wouldn't hurt me. So while we got this little bit of time, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I, gotta, I didn't want to walk. I came up with every excuse in the book. And I got up and I watched one of Mikey's videos, Cerebral Ballsy. And, and the name of the video is Come Take a Walk With Me. And it's him using his, his, his walker to walk across a yard. And I just, I'm like, I put my shoes on. And then I read about Benjamin. And I got my fat ass up. And I started walking. There's too many good people and too many inspirational stories to sit around and feel sorry for myself. Now, here is one of the hated vines. There's a guy on a bicycle motor, so I don't know what he's doing there. But now, right here, now again, I, no, I'm not swinging it hard. I'm not going to. I don't really want to hit myself with the damn tomahawk. But it's plenty sharp. Now, right here, it made a real good bite. A real good bite. And if I was better at my camera angle, see right here, two legs. There I am. Now, now the thoughts are up. Oh, I just thought about something. Let's see what it's got, see how sharp it is. Um, I use this vine. They're rubbery. They're all of those things. And let's just see right here. Well, it could use some work. That's all I'm going to say. I, I mean, it'll chip it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it does have pretty good axe head on it now. And it does have a pretty good... It's pretty sharp for a, for, for a chopping uh, a chopping tool. We'll go ahead and sharpen it up. We may do something different with it down the road. Tomorrow, I've got to get into my uh, BPS knives and get some of these going. Well, guys, listen. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Again, Benjamin Luckett or Luckett son god rest your soul you're our shout out today i love y'all god bless y'all i'm scab you're not and everything's gonna be all right